we've got one last substitution reaction to talk about, and uh, we could look at that as being a little bit of a misnomer, but uh, I'm going to stick with it being a substitution reaction here. Uh, and in this case, we definitely abbreviate this. We're going to turn our OH group into an OTS group. And if you look way over here, an OTS group is what we call a tosylate ester. Uh, and the whole point in putting a, uh, converting an alcohol to a tosylate ester here is that whereas an OH is a bad leaving group, this thing is a phenomenal leaving group, better than all the halides. And the reason is, is if this oxygen were to up and leave, uh, it would have a negative charge, and that negative charge would be resonant stabilized with all three oxygens. So very stable leaving group after it leaves, and a very weak base. So great leaving group. Fantastic. Uh, and the way this reaction actually works, so I've got TSCl here, it's tosyl chloride, written, drawn down below. And we do mix this with pyridine as well, just like we did with PBr3 and SOCl2. And first step is we're going to have the alcohol nucleophilic attack on the sulfur. And here's where I'm going to get lazy. So this oxygen is still bonded to a hydrogen. It's going to have a positive formal charge. And in this case, uh, I'll stop. I won't get lazy yet, but I'm getting lazy very soon. Don't worry. Uh, still got a double bond to one of the oxygens and then got this big benzene ring. That's toluene, by the way. Sometimes we call this toluene sulfonyl chloride or something like that, but tosyl chloride for short. And he's still bonded to the chlorine. Um, this structure, just like we saw a second ago, those electrons that went up to the oxygen are kind of come right back down and kick off that chlorine as a leaving group. And what we've got left here just needs to be deprotonated. And again, that's pyridine's job. So we've got pyridine in here as well, just like we did with, again, PBR3 and SOCl2. Pyridine's going to come and deprotonate. And that's going to get us to our product, this tosylate ester, which, again, will most commonly just abbreviate like this. And I say most commonly, some of you will never see anything other than the abbreviation. Uh, but I didn't take the time to go through the mechanism because it is presented in quite a number of classes. Uh, but the whole point in doing this is that tosylate ester is a phenomenal leaving group in its own right. So oftentimes, you know, we'll have our alcohol, we'll add the tosyl chloride and pyridine. and get a great leaving group. And notice the configuration is not inverted. And the reason it's not inverted is because the oxygen that we had present in our alcohol here is the same oxygen in our product. We haven't broken that wedged bond at all, so there's no inversion to take place. Uh, we never actually attached this carbon. The substitution actually took place in the tosyl chloride, this oxygen replacing the chlorine. That's actually the substitution that takes place. Uh, but I like to look at it as converting an OH into an OTS. And this thing, again, is just a phenomenal leaving group. And so now if I wanted to do an SN2 reaction, you know, I might add NACN, and that would do inversion of configuration and replace the OTS group with a cyanide group or something like that. So whole point in converting the alcohol into an OTS is now I've got a good leaving group and I can do substitution or maybe elimination.